Hello and welcome to Embracing Mattress. My name is Renee. Just going to give you a quick reading. Um, I was out um, take care of some errands earlier and heard that I needed to do the spirit connected with me. Uh, so the message is going to be just, you know, very quick. You know, I've already prayed over your cards and everything of that nature. And I've already, um, you know, set my intentions for this reading um, to be a quick reading. Uh, and just to get whatever messages Spirit has for you right now. Um, take what resonates and leave what does not. This is for the sign of Pisces. Um, I put a link in my page for you to go through and find out. Uh, what your birth chart is uh, if you're not sure because you could be like a Sagittarius uh, Sun and a Pisces moon and if that's the case this still would resonate for you okay so you have to know what the other signs are just in case something does not resonate for you you would know what to look up so that link is in my page also um, please like share and subscribe uh, if you like the messages that um, that I'm giving you uh, you know on my page that'd be great I would be grateful I'm definitely definitely grateful all right so look here we go we have Sedna infinite supply you are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows and Aphrodite inner goddess awaken the goddess within you through dance self-care and appreciating your divinity all right we're going to get to, we're going to get back to this. We're going to go down one side. Uh, Isis, past life. This situation involves your past life memories. And Artemis, guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Okay? All right. Now, it seems like whatever it is that you're going through here, Pisces, has to do with your previous life, your higher self, um, whatever you were dealing with in another realm, okay? You may be worried about your future. This is telling you not to be. Saying don't worry that everything is good because everything that you need is supplied to you or will be supplied to you, all right? It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter what it is that you're thinking of spirit is saying that they have you they have your back all right when it comes to Aphrodite um, this is saying that you need to balance right awaken the goddess within you stop worrying about whatever it is that you're worrying about over here and balance yourself okay you know, you may be having issues with your sexuality right now. That may be for some people. I'm not sure who, you know. You need to allow for your emotions to come through. If you're feeling emotions because you're worried about having enough of something or being able to do something, it's okay. Now, when it comes to clarification of these two cards here I have page of wands and eight of cups okay look at this it looks like you and another person are back to back you know one is going one way and the other one is going another or thinking about another Now, this lady looks happy and she seems to be thinking about something. She has her wand up like she's she's looking out into wherever she's looking, you know. This is symbolic of some sort of good news, something coming in quickly, you know via whatever channel of communication it comes. 
But this card here is you walking away from, or someone walking away from all of these cups of emotion. And you're not invested in whatever this is anymore. Now, maybe the good news that came in freed you from whatever and you're able to walk away or maybe the news that you got caused someone to walk away from you no hmm. amethyst revealing your true self as you allow others to know the real you you will feel love for who you truly are is that why you're walking away, Pisces? Because you're not allowed or you feel like you can't be the person that you truly are? Hmm. This card means that you're walking away from something or someone. Okay, and this is like Spirit said, this is your choice to, you know, you have free will to walk away. But you're turning your back to something and you're, you, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't give you the emotional satisfaction that you need anymore. And you're being called to reveal your true self. Maybe you were living in a facade and maybe you got news that said, you know what, I'm released. I don't have to be that person anymore because now I can be who I truly am. Now, you also got Moldavite, unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Absolutely. Now, you're being called to be true to yourself, reveal your true self, and that it's okay to do so. But you may have been in your feelings about letting people know who you truly are, you know? I know I'm a goofball, and I don't really like to show a lot of people that because a lot of people in my line of work are not like that. They're very, very, very strong. And uh, they don't like people that joke around a lot, you know. To them, it shows that you're not being professional. But, you know, whenever I can, you know, a little bit of me will appear. You know, my friends and family or what have you, they know me. You know, they know um, that I'm capable uh, of, you know, being a mess here and there. You know, you may fear... That people will find out that you're not quite how they felt that you were. And it's okay to be yourself, Pisces. You may, but you may, maybe you're in a career where you can't. Or, like I said, maybe you have friends and family around you that, you know, you're not, you don't want them to know the real you. Or you felt like it wasn't safe. However, here you go. You have Isis, past life. The situation involves past life memories. And Artemis, guard, guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Okay? Now, what you're going through could have happened in a previous life and could be showing itself here. You know, maybe that's why it bothers you. Maybe that's why you feel... Like you can't show people who you totally are. You know, maybe maybe you intuitively know by what happened to you in the previous life. That could be. But it could be that you're having those fears from the past for a reason. So that you can bring them to light and heal them. Okay? And 
guardians are saying, we're here with you. You're protected. It's okay to do so. Right? If you're thinking about a person, Pisces, it means that this person that you're thinking about was in a past life with you. When it comes to the clarification of past life and guardian, we have the death card and the ace of swords. The death card is endings and new beginnings. Here you are thinking about a new beginning and your ending. Hmm. You're going through some sort of transformation here, Pisces. You're getting rid of something that no longer serves you, and you're going on to something new, it looks like. That's beautiful. This could be the end of a phase, the end of a mindset, the end of a relationship, the end of a relationship with a person from a past life. The start of a relationship with a person from a past life. Take it how it resonates. Here you are thinking based on whatever news you received and walking away. To a new beginning. That will be good based on these the sword. This is the beginning. When you leave, when you when you when you end whatever this is, relationship or what, work or what have you, you'll start something else. And you have the strength to start something else. You may not feel like that right now, but you do. You have everything you need. Spirit says you do. You're spiritually protected. Look over here. It says you have an evident supply of everything you need for all of your tomorrows. So you do have the strength to move forward. Now, titanium rainbow quartz, multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation of the person you are asking about. Now, if you're asking about yourself, it already says here that you have to be true to yourself because you're unconventional. Be who you are. But if you're thinking of someone else, they may be just like you. You know, you may feel like you don't understand them. But you have to understand that people are different and they come from a different wave than you. And that's okay. You also have Pyrrho life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. Your life may be repeating with this past life person. And if it is repeating in some sort of karmic situation or something of that nature, you need to figure out what is going on and learn the lesson so that you can heal it and release it so that it does not come back to you in your next relationship, Pisces. You're being asked to go within. Awaken the goddess within you, okay? Okay through dance, self-care, and appreciation for your divinity. 
And once you go within, okay, then you have to deal with whatever is going on that is a pattern or a cycle. Heal it and release it once and for all. So you can be happy and have that good new start that you're thinking of. All right, Pisces, thank you so much. I'll see you soon.